Well, there's there's actually two things to what you're saying. Uh, like cures like is a homeopathic principle, and uh, that's another subject area that where you can, uh, for example, you can take healthy beef heart and you can dilute it into, let's say, water in, in extreme amounts. And then the information from that healthy heart has been ingrained into the water structure, uh, into what's called icy crystals. Uh, this was demonstrated um, uh, back several years ago by Buena Vista in France, uh, which he, he really got his, neck, his head cut off because of this. But he had just married a, a woman that was a homeopathic physician and he is one of the top scientists in France, and he decided that he was gonna see if there was anything scientific to homeopathic remedies. And he proved that icy crystals, which is water that holds information, um, is what is the general reason why homeopathics uh, work. So like here's like in that regard, that if you have a sick heart and the information goes into your body of a healthy heart, the body's self-healing mechanisms know a reference point to go back and start repairing the tissue. Um, ah, but okay. you're referring to what the long living do. The, the actual eating of, uh, of healthy, raw heart, uh, like, for example, sweetbreads. Um, there are, uh, there's beef tartare. There's sushi. Mm -hmm. There is other raw foods that the long living eat that are really dense with embryonic foods, colostrum, mother's breast milk. These are examples, seaweed, algae, uh, part of the dietary. This is what is the focus around the long living people with the minerals being present well, in the uh, soil. Let's address this because let's say that somebody has uh, diabetes type one. So they're born with uh, a pancreas that's not working properly. And in 1932, um, there was uh, Paul uh, Niehans, who was a German physician. Um, he was part of the uh, crews, the uh, surgical teams that were removing thyroid glands because of cancer or for whatever uh, other uh, issue. And they didn't realize that there were other, uh, there was another organ kind of tucked into, can uh, into thyroid called the parathyroids. And so when they removed that thyroid, within a, a few hours, the person would die from tetany because the parathyroids uh, deal with balancing calcium in the body. And that is what causes the muscles to be relaxed. But when you harvest out the, the parathyroids during a thyroidectomy, the calcium just goes down to zero and you start having convulsions and you die. Hmm. So he was noticing it was happening every single time. And so... He decided to take a healthy thyroid, this is to your point, from uh, pigs or cows that were young and they were very healthy. And he macerated it up into tiny, tiny particles that could be injected into the rear end of these patients. And the first time he injected it in there, he was able to save this young woman from dying of tetany. And that was the birth of the original stem cell therapy because within glands are healthy stem cells. And we're now finally catching up with this, uh, what, almost uh, 90 years later, with all of our stem cells. In the case of Paul therapy. Nehans, he was taking late uh, uh, fetal uh, tissue development from cows and, uh, and sheep and, and, uh, and pigs that were healthy, that were not born yet. They were just about ready to be born. And he was using that in, in the more mature state, very young tissue, but very, very mature compared to the stem cells. And they know what to do. So if you use that kind of pancreatic tissue um, that's that young, and then you inject that into someone who's eating an alkaline diet and is getting lots of oxygen into their system, it becomes very possible for someone with diabetes type one to suddenly be able to start making their own uh, sources of insulin. Um, this is not something that is recognized here in the United States. But in Germany, they've been doing it for almost 90 years with a great deal of success. And so for those mm. uh, special therapists there that have been doing it, you can talk to them and they can tell you uh, what their success rates are. But it's not, it's not done here in this country. <clears throat>